Do you want to extract or rather change a date into the start of the week or end of the week date? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that with Excel functions, Power Query or Power BI. Now you can just watch that and run away. But I also want to give you an understanding of how those functions actually work so you can use them in any scenario. So if you want to learn that, stick around till the end of the video. So without further ado, let's jump into it. We have this data, we have the date. And now we want to change that date into a start of the week date. And the formula goes like this. We take the date and then we subtract the weekday of that date. Right? So we say, give me the weekday of that date. And the weekday function just returns the number. And you need to be mindful here that it returns the number of the day, um, the way the US thinks about the week. So the Sunday is number one. Uh, whereas if I was going to do a European or Slovenian way of thinking, I would give it a two as the second argument. And that would mean it's going to return Monday as number one. Um, but since everything is in the US data types anyway, so I'm just going to leave it at that. So this would actually give me the last date of the previous week. So what we need to do is plus one. And this gives me the first date of the week within which that date resides, right? So all these dates are obviously still within the same week and then the second week starts. And the end of the week is very similar. The first part of the formula is the same. So you go date minus weekday of that date. So up to here is the same. Uh, remember how I said previously, that's the last day of the previous week. So here we need to do a plus seven. So add the whole week to it and you get the last date of this week. So now you'll see that this is actually one day before this, right? This is the end day of the previous week, whereas this is the first day of the next week. Okay. So this is how formulas in Excel would work. The second way I want to show you is with Power Query. So uh, the title says Power Query or Power BI. Now I'm only going to show you Power Query because it's the same interface. You do it exactly the same way. So here we have a table with dates. Let's push that into Power Query. It shoots up a Power Query edit editor. And what you say is here I have some dates. Now these don't need to be uh, date time. They need to be dates. So I'm just going to do it like this and then what you do is you say, here I have a date. So I want you to add a column for me. And that column should be week, start of week. And that's all you have to do. And if I do it again, and I go like this, and I say, so I have the date, add a column for me, week, end of week. And there it is. And I can remove this one and just go close and load two. I want you to load it into a table and I want you to start right here and go. All right. And there it is. So these are the dates. This is the start of the week and this is the end of the week. It's way easier than with the formula because Power Query has that interface, right? The GUI that just guides you for everything and just shoots out the result. Now you know how to get the start of the week or end of the week dates with a formula in Excel with Power Query. Uh, and now if you want to, you can join me for a little theory on how this actually works and why this actually works. So why there's a plus one, why everything is as is. So the theory would start like this. So we have a date. It's the Saturday, April 10th. It's the day that I'm filming this. And what I want to show you is first off, I want to show you what this function weekday does. So weekday of this returns seven, right? Saturday is the seventh day in the week, whereas Sunday is the first day of the week, right? So if you imagine if I take the date above, so if I just take this date and I say minus this seven, what do I get? Well, I get a date, shockingly, but what is this date? Well, if I look at it, it's actually 
the Saturday before, right? It's not the start of the week. It's not a Sunday. It's a Saturday. Why? Because it subtracts seven. So it takes me back seven days. And that's why we needed that extra part, the plus one. It was important because that takes me to a Sunday. Okay. And now for the special part about the weekday. So the weekday function actually takes two parameters. The first one is, of course, the date or the serial number. But the second one is how do you want your days of the week sorted, right? What is the first day of the week for you? And you can see you have each and every option available for you. And here in Europe, we do it with a two. So Monday is the first day of the week, right? And Saturday, you can see then is the sixth day of the week because Sunday would be the seventh day of the week, All right? So this is what you need to be mindful of when you're writing this formula. Weekday function is the tricky one. You need to use it correctly. And because it never gives you a zero as the first day, it gives you a one. That means that when you sub subtract it, even if today is the first day of the week, you're going to subtract one. So that's why you need to add the one, right? Because if today is the first day of the week, I would, wouldn't want to subtract anything. I would want to subtract zero. So this plus one makes this work. Okay. And now let's look at the power query equivalent of this, right? So in Power Query, the start of the week and end of the week, you can see that they work, but the way they work is not actually the way you would think they work, right? So what are these dates? What has Power Query returned here? And if I look at it like this, I can see that it returned a Sunday as the first day of the week and a Saturday as the last day of the week, right? So what if I want you know, to see this in a European style. So Monday is day one. Well, then I would change this ever so slightly in Para Query. And what I would do is over here, when we said start of the week, we actually use this function called dates start of the week. You see that? And this one also has two parameters. So what it takes is the date as the first parameter. So you take the date and then a second parameter is what is the first day of the week? And the way you make that work is you say day dot and then you say, well, to, for me, the first day of the week is actually Monday. And if you just leave it at that, that would give you a result that you expect. All right. So if I now close and load this, you can see it changed ever so slightly. And now if I look at the start date, now it's a Monday, right? And I will need to do the same thing for the end of the week. So I would go back to Power Query. I would take the formula for the end of the week. So I will take that step, see what it was and give it that second argument and say day dot Monday. So Monday is the first day of the week for me. And now, if I close and load this, I will see that this end day returns into Sunday. Okay, now you know everything. So because you've been so good and eager to learn, here are some bloopers from this video and I'll see you in the next one. So without further ado, let's just jump in inches. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So this is the data that we have. We have some dates and now we want to... What was that funny word I used? Change. Okay. The American way of... Fish. Okay. 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 Who did that? Yeah. We have the dates and now we want to get the start of the date, start of the week date. 
<laughs> nah. Add date. We have the dates. Add date. Date. The date. The weekday of the day of that date. Give me the weekday of that date. First date of the week. The last date of the previous week. Monday is number one. Sunday is number one. Plus one. Date minus weekday. All these dates are obviously still within the same week and then the second week starts. So this is how formulas in Excel would work.